Hi and welcome to Ice Monkey Tech, I'm Stephen and today we're going to be taking a look at some LED lightning, in particular these ones, the newer LED panels. 66 LED lights per panel, two panels in a box with stands. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the unboxing and see what it looks like. So, it seems to be lighting isn't too good, or to tell you the truth, um, everything's too big. I uh, bought this, it's a newer LED dual uh, camera lighting system. I think they're just small things, but uh, I think what we'll do is we'll get this box opened, uh, and we'll go through what's in it, then we'll set the lights up and we'll put it all back down again and we'll see the difference from what I had now to what I will have then. So here we go. So here we go. So here we go. Let's use this and get it open. So here we go. We'll open the box and we'll see what's in it. First up, we have some uh, colour filters, and then we have the units, which already have the white filters in, uh, the white diffusers in, which um, there's our little LEDs. Let's slide that back in there. So we have one. And we have two. Have I bought new, newer stuff before, if that's uh, how you would like to pronounce it? I'm not sure how you'd like to pronounce it. Uh, VIPnewer.com. Don't know what this is. That's for customer support. Which is very nice. Customer support. I've well, got customer support. And this is the manual uh, for live show apparently which uh, I won't be doing live shows well this isn't a live show anyway uh, model number ZC10S 10 watts output power uh, luminous flux uh, 1000 LM that looks like or IM I think that says LM uh, LED quality 66 pieces uh, color temperature is 56k uh, dimmer 10% to 100 and it is USB 5 volt 2 amps and they all both these units have a, a little remote which is obviously that is power on and the dimmer up and down for both of them they don't feel too bad actually they do feel a bit cheap but i didn't expect anything else because i only paid about 30 pounds for these so uh, not too bad so far and what else have we got in the box in the box we have some uh, stands two little button stands Two nice, um, oh this is nice this, because I expected these to be plastic, uh, and these little mounts, these, they're like a multi mount, I have a couple of these and these ones are actually metal, that's great, quite like that, there we go, two of those, and two full stands, if I can get out the back. We have the mount on the top there to put the light on and we can move it left and right and this extends, oh it's a twisty one, oh there we go, it'll extend to what I would expect, I think that's about three foot um, and once that's on there, that's yeah uh, and it just twists and collapses back in uh, where he said, there we go. Um, not too bad, not too bad at all, and you get two of these as well, so here is the other one, which will be exactly the same as the first one, yep, there we go, a uh, little thing on the top, I don't know what that's called, if anybody would like to let me know, don't uh, feel free, <laughs> not Sorry, don't feel free. I got confused, could you please start again? Seriously. I didn't see anything that resembled Google, did I? Anyway, these, oh, shall we quickly set one of these up? We'll quickly set one of these up. And then we can get into it. So we'll quickly set this up into here. There we go. And this will stand like this. 
which is fantastic. Although it does take quite a big foot, footprint of, of space. And you can unscrew these into here. Looks steady enough. And then we'll take the light and we shall screw that in the top of there. And then, for the purposes of this video, I will stand up there and plug this into a USB. Switch that on and let's see if it works. Yep, definitely works. The camera's on auto dim, so it's obviously uh, shut all the back off. But um, that's up. So if we go dim it down, step by step. There we go, it's dimming down and the camera should adjust. So that is at its dimmest. And that is at its brightest. So we shall remove this light. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll turn this big light off. Turn the big light off. And that is just one single light at the other side. And we'll have two either side. And the ring light at the top. I think we will do just fine as if we pretended to open this deep cool GPU mount we we'll really need the other one at the other side just so we can get a grip of uh, how well this looks so we have the softbox on then we do a quick little pretendy unboxing of this uh, GH01 RGB graphics card holder uh, made by deep cool however this one um, doesn't fit my tower so I can't use it uh, so this may be in a giveaway soon as well. So we'll do a quick unboxing just to get a hand of the light. There we go. Let's see. Open this up. There we go. Little leaflet. Accessories. There's um, more accessories. And there is the main unit. which is of a uh, metal construction, is quite nice. And our little cable for our uh, ERGB. And more accessories and more accessories. So there we go. That's not too bad of a light. We are casting a little bit of a shadow, but I'm not too worried about that. Looks all right to me. Uh, my final verdict is I find these a little bit cheap um, and I'm a little bit underwhelmed for the price. I mean, 30 pounds is not a fortune, but um, they do just about do the job. So I'll continue to use them for a little while but I may have to upgrade them in the future just to get um, the look I was really after. The, 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 the fine for the B-roll side of things and for very small compact rooms. However, I will still continue to have to use my sock boxes for when uh, I'm on, on camera myself. You get quite a bit of kit in these boxes. Obviously you get the adjustable stands, uh, the feet, you get the adjustable head so you can move things around and everything. And don't forget that you do need a USB power supply because these are USB they don't have plugs uh, so all in all not too bad I will use them I'm not sending them back so don't worry newer um, but I didn't think you would be anyway so newer do do better stuff than this they do do some pricier stuff uh, but because of the quality in these I'd be a little bit wary about uh, about stepping up and spending more money I definitely remember looking up a few more reviews of uh, higher priced items first before I went and bought them Anyway, I'm Stephen. This has been Nice Monkey Tech. Tick like, subscribe, uh, or whatever you want to do. Uh, hopefully, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and uh, have fun.